It's night time. I should be in my bed sleeping, but I got up to come make a video for YouTube. I feel like my welcome video here was very uh, distant and dissonant, dissonant, um, and had lots of long pauses with me seeking my words, which I do now, now that I'm older, now that I have more fully developed mental illnesses, now that I am writing in a style where after I write in the style for a while, uh, it messes up my brain, or at least my brain adjusts to the style. You know, I I get into a place where when I'm writing, I'll think of multiple endings for a sentence or multiple versions of a sentence or a word, and I'll choose between those. And, um, and then in my speech, I'm just unable to, um, pick one, just pick one and go for it. You know, there's this beleaguering in my head and that's, that's something that I go through. And I'm thinking of something, <clears throat> there are many things to say, but just one thing I'm thinking of for tonight and then I'll stop for tonight and uh, maybe my next video will be a reading. I want I want this YouTube channel to be mostly um, readings of my work, my writing, my play, and uh, you know. But the thing I'm thinking about tonight is is how much anger, and it's it's being broken up. The large stones of my anger and my beef with people is uh, at least certain people is going away. Um, I mean, there's no question about it. I'm at odds with most of the people in my family and I'm at odds with most of the people I've worked for in the past. And I have this one category of people that I, that I've even called recently, um, even though it was 10 or 15 or more years ago that I worked for them. But these are not the bosses of big companies, but the bosses of small companies that I worked for who hired me promising that someday their company was going to go somewhere and they didn't. You know, and I have a beef with those people because I was there giving my, my full heart and my full mind and my full work to their dream. And I like doing that. I actually like, especially with programming, I like to, I like for my work to serve someone else's dream, you know, but ultimately it all turned out shallow and, um, and just didn't work, you know. They laid off half the company, the company's gone, the boss still thinks he's going to do something someday, you know, and it's it's none of my business anymore, I've got to let it go. And, you know, the, like, I've got lots of um, conceptual or substance-oriented reasons why I shouldn't um, use any of my energy to complain against these people, but... Um, there's another reason too, which is that those bosses have just gotten old. You know, when I worked for those places, I'll just, you know, amalgamate some numbers here, but I was about 20 and or 30 and my bosses were about 40 or uh, 60 or something. Or no, 40 and 50. Oh, shoot. I was maybe 20 or 30. They were maybe 40 or 50 and... That's been 10, 20 years, depending on who I work for. So those people are now, like this boss that I'm mad at, one of a couple of them that I'm mad at, who, you know, sold me the world. And that's why I went to work for them. I mean, I, I didn't go to work for companies that were big, that would have paid me more money than these companies. But now, I mean, there's no reason for me to contact them because, I mean, I, I don't know a lot of what's going through their mind, but I do know something about them, which is their approximate age. You know, these men are 60 or 70 years old now. There's nothing for me to complain about against them, you know, there, and, and it's, it's like, would I, would I rail against my dad? You know, he's 65 years old. He's an old man. You know, he's retiring probably. I, we don't talk and we haven't talked in years, but, um, you know, it's like, what's the point of, of bugging them anymore? They're useless to me. They're not, you know, they're not doing anything unless, I mean, I mean, they're not, they're like, they're in, anyway, they're in retirement age. They're, they're kids. You know, I met their kid when their kid was five and now their kid is 25, 
you know, these people are like dealing with their own children going to college and, um, you know, and what they're going to do with their bags of money, you know, that they're going to die soon. You know, it's like, I've got a real different perspective on, on stuff. Back then I felt like life was, I didn't feel invincible as they say some people feel when they're young, but I felt that a lot of my time was, um, I mean, I just had more of it, you know, and now I've lived through some company failures and I've lived through my own failures and now successes in writing, which for me, success in writing is just that I'm writing, you know, I don't have anything published. Um, but I did get something published. I did get things said in dreams published by this publisher, sibling rivalry press. And I, um, you know, I unpublished it because I wanted to give my stuff away for free. And now I'm doing that and not many people read it, but in fact, fewer people now probably read it than when it was published because, you know, but even then I was only making $50 a year off the stuff. So it's like, I mean, I don't need $50 a year. Nobody needs $50 a year in this country. You know, it's, it's, if it's way, it's worth way more for me to forget that $50 a year in, in commissions or royalties or whatever, um, to give my stuff away for free. It's, it's, it's worth way more for me to be able to give, give it away for free. Anyways, that's what I'm thinking now. And uh, I feel good. I was able to speak clearly. I think I'm going to leave that welcome video up. Maybe I'll make another one, but, um, that is part of what I go through is those like just mind lapses where I just can't think of the word, you know? Um, and I know that other people who, you know, do that too, um, I feel self-conscious about it, but I mean, I do have multiple mental illnesses <laughs> and, uh, and I'm, I'm living with them, you know, it's, it's, it's okay, but we'll talk about that later. Hope you have a good night.